Welcome to the show. This week we're going to go over some business stuff along with the psychology experiment and also a very interesting conversations. Um, the beginning of the season. Beginning. Oh, not even the season. It's literally the beginning, beginning of the school season. year. It's just beginning of the school year. Yep. That's how it starts out. Uh, we did postcards, sponsor thank yous. Yep. Sent them out to all of our sponsors from last year. Yep. Then, At least we tried to because yep. our list kind of got a little confusing, but we definitely tried to we get everyone we could. Ones. Yep. And then from then we went right into sponsor letters. We have addressed and sent over 150. Um, we're currently trying to do like a little more um, in the community because we realize we have a lot in like neighboring towns. Include our local businesses and make sure that they feel like we value them and that we want to include them. So yeah, I think that was really important. I know we still have a few more to send out, a few more addresses. Going through all the old sponsors, we've kind of realized that some of them don't exist anymore. So we definitely have to like clean up our sponsor list. Yeah, we um, just kind of compiled from the last five years. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of been a lot. So we kind of have to go through and clean that up a little bit still. So then pretty much after that, we move straight into um, we move straight into just waiting for sponsors to respond. That's kind of like the long process. It's not where we can really do anything. We kind of have to wait for them to yeah. get back to us. And, um, you know, some of the letters actually go a long way. Some of the letters do go a long way. We're we, thankful for all sponsors, no matter oh, yeah. the amount. But there's definitely a few that really contribute a lot, and we can tell that, especially when the, Bill decides to really extend their their extend budget. The budget. <laughs> yeah, extend their budget. Yeah, we have fun with it. It's yep. a lot of organizing. It's a lot of different stuff like that. Keeping but. track, make sure we know where everything yeah. is. What? We're recording right now. Okay, well, quiet on the set sign or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, almost like flashing recording signs. Yeah, they did. Okay, so our experiment with them was basically memorizing letters on a board, and they had to do it to music, and they had to do it in silence and like talk to each other in between the experiment. To, so they would have to try and memorize it. Do I get? Do I get? Okay, yours. Minute so, oh, 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 is it the same one? Oh, no. Nice. Which was a terrible idea. I really should have mixed up the sample. Not our because smartest moment. Ten high school boys together in one room is awful. It's bad. It's <laughs> you guys. Bubba, bubba. <laughs> 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 oh, actual seriousness, what kind of candy Two do you guys like? Two buckets of Take five. Final offer. Take five. Take five? Take five? <laughs> what are you, 1,000 years old? Starburst. Starburst? What else? We were supposed to talk about like robotics and stuff, but that never happens. So we gotta listen to music though. Yeah, they don't put their chairs up. It's just, and they. And they throw their pencils. Yeah. And they lose their pencils. And it's annoying. Or they try to take our pencils. Yes. She's one of them now. I'm exempt. one of them right now. And next week they'll be eating like food while they do it too. Right. Yeah, because candy. everyone loves food and candy and sugar and yeah. <laughs> so. Good good evening, citizens of Chief Delphi. Today's word of the day is. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Gonna find your page. Uh, mobile home. Would you care to read this? I think. <laughs> nah, you can read it yourself. Oh. Mobile home noun. A trailer used as a personal per as a permanent sorry dwelling. I think that's a very bright idea related to mobile homes. That Our you'll idea find out. is people in America. There's a crisis. They are paying to get rid of their mobile homes. However, our business we could drag them away for free, and then we take a helicopter, and if they're light enough, we lift it and drop it in people's yards. But we just gotta make sure we don't. But have this isn't any helicopter, is it? What kind <laughs> no, of helicopters no. are we talking about? I'm a big one. I'm not really sure right now. But <laughs> <Should> no, <laughs> sure, sure. If that'll Should lift it. it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Continue. We take the axles and wheels off the mobile home so they can't move it. So we're the only company who could do it. We take it and we drop it in their yard. 
And then they're like, oh no, there's a mobile home in my yard. How did this get here? And since we have helicopters that can lift it, we charge them to lift the home. And since it doesn't have wheels, they need a helicopter. All right. That's an all right plan, but there are some flaws with that. First, if we use the same helicopter to uh, remove it that we used to put up there, they know that they just got scammed. So <laughs> if we're invoicing them, that's not going to work. But it's not, Second, it's, it's it's not, not the you're same not... people, though. It's not the same people. It's different people. Mm, but, like, if we're dropping in the yard, they, they will probably see the helicopter there. Well, no, we pull it away with the truck. Yeah. And but then, then we pick yes. it up with the helicopter. Good. Yeah. But also, we're not thinking big enough. The... Per individuals don't have as much of an ability to pay you as the government does, so my suggestion is that we just drop these things on the freeway instead. <laughs> the government will pay uh, us to remove it, and you know how government uh, money works. They will pay us all the money out of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But think about it, is you have a helicopter, you can also carry other stuff, like quickcrete. So we can take and, get, and take quickcrete and dump it in public pools, <laughs> and in the morning, it will become a solid block of cement. <laughs> Make sure you're doing it in like the local pool, so that way the government gets paying you again. So, but how are we gonna remove it? Hmm? How are we gonna remove it from the pool? <laughs> Explosives. <laughs> I mean, that's a good excuse to use, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> what other things can you look at the helicopter? I mean, we could just take big rocks and just set them in parking ramps, <laughs> <laughs> or just drive the trailer home to the parking <laughs> ramp. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty disruptive if like you're trying to park and there's some guy that has parked his uh, 60 foot long trailer home across the entrance to the parking ramp. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that works too. I, I like the rocks. You just set them on top. You know how everyone likes the top level of park grip? Everyone goes up to the top to be like, ooh, cool spots. So we just set rocks in every spot. Here. You can probably get paid by government to take and dispose of them. So we get paid, <laughs> get paid for by... taking them and we get paid for removing them again once we place them. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if they'd question it, be like, why did we just pay to get this removed and now it's on the freeway? <laughs> I mean, I suppose that works. Think about this, you could also set like just big rocks on skyscrapers. I mean, they're probably structurally intact. It's a, the skyscrapers are designed so that it would withstand it, but it'd be, nobody would want like a two-ton boulder on top of the Empire State Building in case it falls off. Can you imagine what a two-ton boulder falling you off know the Empire what? State I got Building would do? So we, we place our new car wash that we're making right car near wash. some stoplights. Yep. Okay. And we take our helicopter and fill it full of dirt <laughs> and dump it on people at the stoplight. Okay, that's actually So they have a good. nice car wash right here. You can, like, offer deals where it's cheaper if you have dirt, dirt on your car. So you have people come through your car wash. Pretty good plan. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty good. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. That last bit was really weird. Don't forget to check out next week's episode where we talk about some build stuff.